What's poppin' y'all? Welcome back to another YouTube video, and today we're taking a look at Haribo Elf Surprises. It is coming closer and closer to Christmas, so we are doing some more sort of Christmas food reviews. Uh, again, we didn't have that many for Halloween, uh, because uh, people of, most of the time overlook Halloween, which I'm not a huge fan of. I quite like Halloween. I uh, also never cut towards you. Um, what I did was just stupid. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, we can uh, we can move on. So, opening it up, they're, they're, these are like a stocking filler, and um, we have a couple of different ones, I'm going to be honest. There is um, red and green, yellow and red, and then purple and orange. I don't know if these are different flavors, it literally just says, um, kids and grown-ups love it, so the happy world of Haribo, and are they sour or sweet? So we are going to try the orange and purple one first, which doesn't really look like an elf. I'm going to be honest, he looks kind of a burnt. He looks like he's been in a two-face accident. Um, but yeah. These ones are supposed to be sour. You can already tell from putting it in your mouth. They're very greasy. They leave, like, a slime on your fingers. They're very chewy. They're very hard. And they get stuck in your teeth. And they're kind of built like straws, where they're that sort of solid, sort of sweet, that sort of crumbles and breaks in your mouth. That one was definitely orange flavor. Uh, it was supposed to be sour. It wasn't. You can tell when it's supposed to be sour, because it gives that... There's a little tingle in there. And it was all right. It wasn't the greatest. You can easily tell what it was supposed to be. You can tell that it was supposed to be sour. Obviously, it just didn't work. I don't think sweets in this sort of format can be sour. But anyway, here is the next elf, which is a purple and green one. Kind of looks like an eggplant. Um, not going to lie from the color scheme going off here. And they do seem to be very overwhelmingly one color. And the other color seems to be very little at the top. This one is black currant, and this one's sweet. Like that's just it. Churning your way through it, um, pretty strong. Uh, very strong black currant taste. Again, as I said in a couple of other food reviews. Blackcurrant sweets are quite often overwhelmingly strong, and I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm not a huge fan of blackcurrant flavored sweets. I do feel like they're quite basic, very overdone, and again, I'm not a huge fan of it. So the orange one is like a 6 out of 10 because it failed to be sweet, but it was still orange flavor, and I do quite like these straw ones. The purple one, the blackcurrant one, whatever you want to call it, Again, I'm going to give that one an also 6 out of 10 because it's a very strong, overwhelming flavor, which, again, is very overdone. And he's also taking my teeth there. Um, but yeah, moving on to the last one, which is a pink one uh, with a little bit of green top. Kind of looks like a strawberry. This one's harder than the rest of them. And doesn't break as easy. Are we serious? It's another sweet one. But it's not giving... It's not giving strawberry. It's giving rhubarb. And I love that. I love that. It's something a little bit different. Something that I didn't expect from this packet. This sort of sweet bundle. So I do like that. I think that's really cool. Really creative. Definitely changing expectations. And it could have just been another straw. Um, I could have quite easily seen Haribo sort of skimping out and going down that route, just reshaping a straw, but they didn't. They made a new flavor, and I do like that. So I am going to give that one a solid 8 out of 10. The packet overall is very underwhelming, uh, very basic, and again, something that I wouldn't really recommend for like a Christmas treat. Uh, there is quite a few better Christmas sweets out there, which we have spoke about on the channel over the past couple of days, and more probably, no doubt, to come over the next couple of days as well. So I am going to give it like 
6 out of 10. The other two dragged it down uh, by quite a significant margin. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. I hope you all have an excellent day. And goodbye. Stay home and stay safe.